Next up, we've got another spruce, fairly large, lots of branches, and a nice pine, also fairly nice, lots of branches. And then these two larger black pots. A little bit of root action, but uh, yeah, a decent amount on that side. A little bit. Oh wow. There's an acorn growing in here. A little surprise oak. Got a perfect little pot for it right there. Let's try and get that out in one piece, not break that. Tap root it's got going somewhere. Okay, it's just in here. Maybe I shouldn't play around with it too much. Just pot it like this with the sand. So that's going to be the root trying to go down. Plant it something like this. Because it's already going down that way. Was a pretty cool surprise in there. I wasn't expecting that. I know I have an acorn growing in one of my other pots, one of the larger ones. Didn't think there'd be one in this small guy. Very cool. So that's oak number one. Not sure specifically what type of oak. Yes, let's get this kind of coming out together, but two awesome little trees there, good starters. This one was already bursting its needles, candles. Plenty of room for roots in these pots, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with them at all. I'll just get that right in there. No fussing. Something like that. Maybe a little higher. waited a long time to be doing these repots and it is going fast. I don't need this bottom dead twig that was getting in the way anyways. This is fine. Okay, there's a nice sized spruce tree, got some long leggy growth down here, but yeah, 
guess I might as well cut that off now. It's not really needed. I don't know. Maybe I can keep some of it. Nah, I'm just gonna let it grow. Not even touch it. Just had to fill up the water. Car. Okay, I think the end of that one's dead, but I'll just leave it, plant everything as is, let it grow, prune next year. We'll call that one done. I believe that's an eastern white pine.